Afternoon, road user charging, road pricing. It's in the news today. Lots of people sent this to me. It's on sky.com and it's on lbc.com. And I've actually just tried to make this video three times, but I kept tripping over myself. And the reason I kept tripping over myself is because I've already made this video. I did this video about 10 days ago, explaining that it was all a trap and they are pretending that the loss in fuel revenue from electric vehicles is causing the need for road pricing. I've already done that. And I'm sat here going, why is it in the news today? OK, so it's September the 3rd. This article from LBC, ministers urged to bring in paper mild driving tax to avoid a black hole, is dated the 3rd of September. But I've already made this video. We've already done this. So why is it in the news again? And the only thing that you can conclude is that they keep wanting to drip feed these pay per mile articles, these road charging, road pricing articles, so that when the budget comes in in October 30th, no one will be surprised when they introduce road charging. So this one from LBC basically says ministers are urged to bring in pay per mile. Who? is urging the minister to bring in paper mile. If you go through the LBC article, it's the Campaign for Better Transport. They're a charity. So a charity is proposing that drivers of electric cars and other, other zero emission vehicles should be charged based on how far they travel. A couple of issues with that. One, a zero emission vehicle is also a bicycle. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. This is about restricting your movement. It is that simple. It's not about a black hole in the economy because the black hole in the economy could have been planned for if they've actually sat down and gone, hang on a minute, if X number of people switch to EVs and EVs don't pay road tax, that's going to cost us Y. So why then, see what I did there, uh, why would you then incentivize the purchase of EVs through your business car rate plans? It doesn't make any sense, does it? So the government have created an artificial hole in the finances so they can claim to plug that hole by bringing in a whole new and very expensive road monitoring system involving very complex cameras so that we can pay to fill the hole that the government created by incentivizing the purchase of EVs through businesses. It's all balls, isn't it? All of it is balls. It's about putting the cameras up. It's about constant monitoring. And eventually it'll be about 15 minute cities. That's what all of this is about. It's not about finance, because if it was about finance, we'd stop spending money on things that we don't want the government to be spending money on, like foreign aid and housing illegal people in hotels. Just stop that. Stop all of that overnight. Stop it overnight. Stop. Don't even wait until the night time. Stop it now. Stop it right now. Stop spending the money on it right now. Right now. There you go. Now we don't need road user charging. OK, stop spending money on all the cameras. Oh, we're the government and we haven't got much money left in the kitty. How much did you spend on the cameras? How much did all of these cameras cost that have gone up on every single dual carriageway? How much did the cameras cost? Stop spending money on it. Stop it. It's all, it's all a joke, isn't it? It's all an actual joke, and it's getting me really, really angry. So this is on Sky.com as well. Sky are running the same article today. Chancellor Rachel Reeves urged to impose paper mile scheme on electric cars. I think the only way they're going to get this over the line is if they manage to hoodwink the public into... They've got to convince the public that the government didn't see the black hole coming because of the electric car thing, right? Forget it. We'll put the article down now. We'll just freestyle this one because uh, I'm angry. What they've got to do to get paper mile across the line is they've got to convince the general public that the government didn't see the hole in fuel duty and the hole in vehicle excise duty, road tax, because of the rise of electric cars. But the other thing that they also need to do, which nobody's talking about, is they need to convince the general public that electric car sales are growing and more and more people are adopting. When the latest figures from last month show that electric vehicle sales are actually down 25%. Even with the incentives, even with the mandate, even with all the dealers trying to force everyone into electric cars, even with the cost of living crisis and the fact that some people can charge at home for 7p or whatever it might be, and the fact that the dealers are offering crazy incentives on these cars, the sale of electric cars is still down 25%. As I said, paper mile can only be introduced if the government manages to convince the people that they never saw the black hole coming, which they did because it was blatantly obvious, and that the fact that more and more people are moving to EVs, which is also a lie. So the rollout of paper mile, the rollout of road user charging is based on two very, very big lies.
And if the rollout of paper mile and road user charging is based on two very, very big lies, then what is the truth that sits behind road user charging and paper mile? What is the truth as to why they want to do it? The answer is restriction. It's about restriction of travel. This is no longer the stuff of conspiracy theories. You don't need a tinfoil hat anymore to see the direction that we're going. Every day the government rolls out a new scheme, there's a new title, there's a new headline in the newspaper as to what Rachel Reeves or Angela Rayner or Keir Starmer is going to do and they get progressively worse. They're just testing us. They want to see how far they can go. They're pushing the agenda of the World Economic Forum and they want to see how far they can push the people before the people break. We're on the verge of the next headline being like, oh, Angela Rayner announces that before the budget she's going to come round and slap every single child in the country really hard in the face. That's basically where we're going. They just want to see how you react. They want to see how everybody reacts. And the only reaction to all of this is purchasing an electric angle grinder. I'm not sure I really covered that one. But the thing is, I feel like I've covered Paper Mile so many times now. I've been trying to raise awareness about Paper Mile for two years they will roll out paper mile. They will roll out road user charging. It won't just be for electric vehicles. It will be for everyone. And I got an email from someone saying, here, Jeff, do you think motability drivers will have to pay per mile as well? Yeah. Why, why would you be exempt? Why would they exempt anyone under the paper mile system when they can monitor every single thing that you do and monitor your every move and charge you for it, charge you accordingly? It's the biggest attack on freedom and it's the biggest attack on the motorists that we've ever seen. And yet we don't have these big organisations. We don't have the AA standing up. We don't have the insurance companies standing up. We don't have the magazine standing up. Nobody seems to be standing up and saying, hang on a minute. It's about time we said no. So it's your job. You've got to do it, basically. You're going to have to stand up and say, no, enough is enough. And you're going to have to decide whether you lie down and take pay per mile um, and you grin and bear it and you go, oh, that kind of hurts, but, you know, we're going to have to do it anyway. Or we create a whole new generation of Blade Runners. Um, and, you know, the sale of battery-powered angle grinders goes through the roof and people start taking things into their own hands and saying, do you know what? No, no. You're lying to me. You, you, you as a government are lying to me. You're saying that you're introducing this to fill a black hole in the budget. Stop spending a month. Stop spending money, and all the things that don't need to be spent on. Okay. If the government have got financial problems and they want to roll out road user charging because of the government's financial problems, let's have a look at where the government's financial problems have come from and what they're spending money on. I'll give you a clue. There's a whole lot of them in hotels at the moment. Stop it. Stop spending that right now. Stop it right now. Switch it off. Switch off the spending for that. Foreign aid. How much are we spending on foreign aid? How much are we... Sp there was a report that came out the other day that the British government is spending X amount of million pounds on helping climate change in foreign countries. Oh, yeah, you know, the finances are so bad in England that we're going to roll out pay per mile and charge everyone for each mile that they move. Meanwhile, we're going to support foreign nations with their climate change action. We're being lied to, and it's about it's essentially about creating a police state. That's pretty much all it is. Constantly monitored, constantly tracked, constantly surveilled, and you won't be able to go anywhere. And if you are allowed to go somewhere, you'll be paying for it. And I don't want any part of it, and I don't think you should want any part of it either. Right, let's go to Tool Station and buy an angle grinder.